Hey everyone, welcome back to Jardev. Today I'm taking a look at a game called The Council. Uh, I don't know too much about it, it's a very narrative, story-driven game, um, published by Focus Homer Interactive. It's set in the 1700s, I believe, maybe 1800s. Uh, it looks really, really cool. Let's uh, just hop into it, save game one. In France, or Paris. December 10th, 1792, I knew it. So good. Ah! Stop. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. Well, one of these voice Notary. actors is okay. <laughs> I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. I quit this. Uh, You've stolen gin. something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Yeah, he's pretty good, actually. <sighs> but these two, and not very good. Host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Flashback to Rome. More no. minutes and my concoction will be ready. <sighs> With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchard. Von Borchard. Hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Ooh. Interesting. So I think it's a little bit telltale-y. I kind of want to see what his plan is, so let's act. Oh! Whoa, he sprang out of that chair. Maybe he just dies. Oh, cool. So that's like changed our character permanently. That's interesting. For God's sake, Louis. I told you to let me do it. This is let so cool. Y you know, I was in control of the situation, Mother. Oh, tell that to your nose. <gasps> it's because of this kind of reaction that I prefer to work alone. You ought to learn to trust me, Mother. You know, can't you be happy for once? I finally, we finally cracked the Von Borchardt case. He was just a middleman. He would have been more useful alive. <sighs> How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. You're much more important than you can ever imagine. Right, let's go now. Shit, I killed the best voice actor. My bad. 
Haha, <rire> Paddy. C'est magnifique. One month later. Une month later. On Lord Mottemans Island. Which is, <laughs> isn't in France anymore. <laughs> Most of England now. It's Hogwarts. Focus Home Interactive and Cyanide. That looks like Hogwarts. Oh. We're on the boats, we're crossing the lake. I mean that is like identical to Hogwarts, right? Our first year at Hogwarts. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer, and now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Duck out. Said one, the mad ones. Right, it's uh, released periodically, like Telltale, so... As of recording this, just episode one's out right now. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost oh, mystical oh, object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We A have party? But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Um. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of enjoying seeing him just kind of like glance back and forth. Personal reason. Your Eminence, with all due respect, I prefer to keep my reasons for coming here to myself. I promise it has nothing to do with the legendary party that you all appear to be preparing for. I believe what you will, my son. However, everything is related to the legendary parties organized by our host. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that, Cardinal. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Ooh, yes. Let's ask the Duchess, see if we can flirt with her a bit. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here, am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right, this is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Kill you, old man. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. Don't We're test moving, me. Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. When I'm French? Cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! <sighs> are you all right? Just, just a mild stroke, Duchess. No, no worries. Whoa. Mother? Oh shit! Oh my god. So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. 
Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, Mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, sir. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for what you've done. Oh. You. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? I just watched you die, lol. Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Indeed. I have an inventory. Oh. Okay. Fine. I have an inventory somewhere. Now we must go to the manor. We, we told her to go on ahead, but <laughs> we're going to catch up with her very, very quickly. God, do I have to climb this, all these steps? <laughs> Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Whoa, choose your class. Diplomat, occultist, or detective. Choosing a class defines your basic skills. The other skills will still be available, but unlocking them will be more expensive. Wow. Okay, let's have a look. Now, uh, I kind of like the sound of detective or the diplomat. Politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction or diversion. Uh, questioning, vigilance, psychology, ability, logic. Yeah, I kind of want to be a diplomat. We'll talk our way through things. Okay, so choose your skills. So we can go for... We can get like any of these, I guess. We get three of them. Ooh, that one sounds good. Formulate flattery or veiled insults. Hell yeah. Oh. We need four to like fully level it? Should we just put everything in there and then wait for like the next level up? Ooh, we're a novice diplomat. Well, I've devoted myself to the interests of France to the best of my abilities. A few years ago, I had a brush with some of your fellow countrymen. Counter-revolutionaries, I'd imagine. Exactly. They got away. Thanks to a little diversion I came up with to keep the sans culottes away. Believe me, they came close to adorning the walls of the catacombs of Paris. So that young French diplomat was you. The mercy you showed the agents of the Queen roused the admiration of the court. Few would have let them leave France alive. Duchess, I'm surprised that anyone still remembers. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. What does that mean? Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Uh-oh. She probably wouldn't like a lie. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. Also, I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London. 
No, sorry. I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt, remember? No? I am so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details, select the object that is most suggested to the situation in order to discover them. Okay. They don't consume effort points. That might be the things in the bottom left. Oh. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Okay. So we've revealed her immunity and vulnerability. We can't look at it just yet. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered... Okay, so now we can have a quick look. So, Emily... Her immunity is logic, which was the detective thing, and we're we're not that. Kaji Giuseppe. <laughs> okay, cool. So we haven't figured out her, her her weakness, but maybe it's it's maybe it's ours. About my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. Okay, great. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily? But you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer more interesting improvements. Okay. Uh, so we've got the map, character. Oh, it looks like we've got a little point in conviction. Or maybe not. We had it in manipulation as well. Talents. Reach level 3 in Diversion, level 2 in Etiquette. Okay, so they're just sort of like achievement kind of things. Okay. Traits. Oh, so these are our traits. You get one skill point in Manipulation and Conviction. Oh, that was... Uh, we got Scarred, right? Cool. Was that good? Conviction, right? Yeah, Conviction's good for us. Cool. Okay, off we go. I'm coming up to the castle, uh, fella. Nice mask. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Um... What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured we shouldn't be long in finding her. It's taken you two weeks so far. So far. It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at a cost of effort points. Oh. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost is. Oh, so we can't do that one. So we're missing the wrong skill, okay. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests saying, sir. were asleep and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. 
I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Ooh, I can do a thing. Difficulty zero. Hell yeah, let's do it. So that's conviction, so this is logic, manipulation. That handkerchief belongs to me. Please hand it over now. But, sir, I... I'll speak directly to your master about it. It will be a very long conversation. Uh, of course, sir. Please, take it. On that note, I must leave you, sir. There is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. See ya. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? We've got so many handkerchiefs. Urgh. Hell yeah. Laws of gallantry. <laughs> Lovely.